Hey, Neil here, and in this video, we're going to be covering how to set up AdWords conversion tracking for unbounced pages. Now, if you are new to YouTube ads or conversion tracking, be sure to check out the rest of this channel because we have a ton of content on conversion tracking with Google AdWords. And it does get pretty complicated, so there are a few more complex videos that you can dive into. So let's jump into it. new AdWords account and the first thing you're going to want to do is set up the conversion inside AdWords first. In order to do this, you want to come up to the search bar and search up conversions and basically go to your conversion uh, section, right? So these are going to be where all of your conversions are. And we're going to come here and we're going to start with a new website. Convert for most uh, things unbounce related, you are going to want to stick with a uh, website conversion. Now, there's a ton of different things that you can do inside Unbounce, but most often or not, you're going to be recording paid views, right? If people come to an opt-in page or a thank you page, or if they've made a purchase and then they've gone to a cart page or something like that, uh, it's going to be done on a page view action. So Google AdWords lets you do a ton of different things and label most of these things based on whatever the specific action is. But for our case right now, we're just going to go with a simple page view. I'm going to be putting this code on a simple landing page. So this is what I'm going to be uh, intending this for. So we'll do a page view and we can name this a test. Now, uh, if you are using this to count purchases, right, maybe you're selling a product or service, uh, you're going to want to label a value for it. So whatever the value of the purchase is, and if you're setting this up on a think page, uh, you're going to want to use a value. For our case, I'm basically doing this on a landing page uh, that people come in on, so I'm not going to assign a value to this. Now, with count, this is also very important. If you are setting up a conversion uh, for purchases or if you want to record every single conversion that happens, right, you're going to want to select every. What this is going to do is record every single conversion action regardless of the cookie that it's being registered on. Now, with one, this basically only records one action per cookie, right? So even if you keep reloading the page, it's only going to count as one conversion. For our case, I'm going to keep this as one. Now, my click conversion window is going to be 30 days, um, and my view through is going to be one. This is pretty standard stuff, and you uh, don't really need to change it. Now, this is going to be included in all our conversions. When you go set up your columns inside AdWords, we want Want this included and last click is the most common attribution system right basically what you're going to want to do is hit continue and you're going to get to this page um, and on unbounce you're going to want to install the tag yourself uh, and we can just do a basic HTML page now this is where things uh, start to differ and I will show you both ways of setting this up inside unbounce and the second way is going to be a little bit better than the first way so because your global site tag is not installed on Unbounce, what we're going to want to do is install that first, and this is going to be across our entire domain. So basically, you're going to want to copy this entire global site tag, come into Unbounce, right? And I'll move myself here, and go into your settings. Uh, once you're in your settings, you want to go into your script manager, and this is where you can upload a script to an entire domain, and this is exactly what we're going to do with this site tag, right? So the site tag basically allows all of the conversions to start firing and lets AdWords to record all of the conversions on the domain. So we're going to be adding a script, and this is going to be a custom script, and we'll call this test script. And we're going to apply this to our domain right now i just have this and i'm going to go and uh, install that on the head of all of the pages right this is super important and basically i put that here and save and publish my script it really is that easy now that we have the site tag uh, installed what we can do is go in and uh, actually install the conversion action this is going to let google adwords know when the conversion fired so you want to basically come down here grab this and you're going to install this on the page itself right the page wherever you want the conversion action to be recorded so we'll just go into a sample page here uh, and i'll show you exactly how to do it so let's uh let's edit this basic page 
And as you can see, this is a very basic uh, page that we have here. And what you're gonna wanna do is come down into the JavaScript, add a new JavaScript, right? And we'll do this, call this Google uh, conversion action and paste this here. Now, what you wanna make sure is you wanna make sure that this is after the body tag. And the reason for this is the way Unbounce is set up is that whenever a page load, this script gets, uh, whatever the script on the pages gets put in front of the actual global uh, domain scripts, right? So the, the global site tag is going to be behind this unless we put this after the body tag, right? That's why we put the site tag in the head and we're putting this after the body tag. Um, if you don't do this, it's not going to record conversions correctly. And basically all you want to do is go here, done and save. And that's basically it. Now, the reason we did it this way and we installed the slight tag everywhere, it's because it's an easier workflow. Um, but sometimes when conversions don't fire, this is something that you need to start altering. So instead of installing the global site tag everywhere, uh, what you want to do is install the site tag and the conversion uh, event tag inside the page itself. So you would copy both and install them on the same thing. So very similar to what I did uh, over here, you would want to you would want to install the global site tag right above it. So I would go back and copy. Right, and this would be the entire thing and I'll put this in the head section. Now you wanna make sure that if you are doing this that you go back to your script and you actually delete the script, right? You don't want the site tag appearing twice because you might get double conversions and nobody wants that. But that is basically two different ways to set it up. And basically that's how you get conversion tracking set up on Unbounce. Now the reason for the two different ways is maybe you don't want to record uh, conversions throughout your entire site. Maybe you just want it on specific pages. So uh, I recommend actually uploading the site tag as well as the event tag on just the page itself and do that for every page that you want. All right, guys, I hope you uh, got a ton out of this video. You know how to install conversion tags. Uh, basically, as soon as this is done, uh, you want to uh, basically see it inside of here. And this is going to be unverified. What you want to go do is go on your unbalanced page, you know, load the page up and trigger the event so that it becomes verified. It usually takes three or four hours to get that done, but you can trigger it a little bit earlier. And once this is verified, you're ready to go. You can start, you know, counting your conversions inside AdWords. So now that you guys know how to uh, set up conversions on uh, Unbounce, let me know if there's any other questions regarding Unbounce and AdWords and YouTube ads tracking, and I'll try and make a video for you guys. With that, I'll see you guys later.